Hi. We're sorry to inform you that your video membership will be revoked until you return one of our videos. It's titled, French Made Cafe Spilled Coffee. Please return it soon. Good morning, Mr. Touchdown. I wish you a pleasant journey. Well, you know what? That's what happens when you consistently don't return videotapes. So, 550,000 is what we need to get into the next and last ranked match, so... That's gonna take a little bit. Also, I'm, I'm just... At this point, I'm married to the idea that the final shirt I wear is the Pimp and Ain't Easy shirt. Where is it? Because it really, it's so true, too. You know? Pimpin' ain't easy. So there we go. I think this is probably what we're gonna be wearing for the rest of the game. Let's get the hell out of here. Actually, let's check the cards first. I'm gonna be so pissed. Yeah, it's gonna end up that I'm only missing those two. That is awful. That is totally awful. So our new part-time job is available, and I have enough money for the rank, but I need to get the new weapon first. That's the first order of business. How much money do I have? Huh, alright, I have almost 600,000, that's not that bad. So I'll have at least a little, little bit left after I, uh, spend all my money here. And it's, it's mostly just gonna be, you know, off-screen doing stuff, doing stuff like that again. Pizza butt, probably. I'll show the new part-time job. Uh, I do have one move I want to grab with the Lavakov balls. And then, uh, that's about it. This one's definitely up there. Yep. That's all I want. Do we have any parts? Energy saving. I still just don't care about that. So now we have the final weapon upgrade, which ensures that we get the best ending of the game. Hey, pal. Yeah, I got I got your seven Lavakov balls. So we're gonna get Memory of Child, which is the dash move. Uh, this is like the only part of the game where this is actually useful. Keep practicing. This is usually, usually when I play, I think this is like the first thing that I get. But, it, like, it really isn't that useful. Like, Travis walks slow and I know I've been complaining about that a lot. But, um, it's really not that big of a deal. So this is pretty much what it does. Travis's stamina bar is over at the end there. It just makes him walk faster in the uh, hub world. And you know what? It's fine. This is actually going to become useful in a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's not something that I would have gone for for the first time. Alright, I don't have a whole lot of money, but I might as well check this area out one last time. Like I said, I'm, I'm fairly married to the Pimpin' Ain't Easy shirt, so I don't think I'm going to find anything better than that. But just in case... Really? Wow. Alright, so... Spartan... Movie Star... Fudo... Boring children can be helped. <laughs> Retarded? Oh my god. Imagine if that happened now. You would never be able to put that in a video game now. Yeah, so pimping ain't easy is the way it's going. So, because I never did it before, I'm gonna do the graffiti mission now. Um, now that I think about it, I don't think that this one actually would have been possible without the dash move. So it just kind of works out that I did it like that. Um, so the graffiti 
is all over town. They're all marked by the X's on the um, on the map. It's really not that big of a deal. It's a pretty easy mission. It's just finding the graffiti is the annoying part. And again, if if we didn't have the dash move, this is pretty much like impossible to do. Because look how spread out these are. I, I would have been here at least another, an extra minute just walking to that spot. That's where the dash move kind of comes in handy. But I, I still don't think it's really all that useful. There are a few parts in the game so far where I've complained about Travis being slow. But it's really not that big of a deal. Um, where the hell is this one? Oh, it didn't look like it was there on the map. I've always wanted to know, like, who... Sometimes games get, um, graffiti artists to come in and, like, do graffiti in their games. That's so strange. Like, to me. I don't know. I can't even explain, like, why I think that's strange. Just how much, like, behind-the-scenes work needs to be done to make a video game, like, feel real. Just graffiti that you're probably not even gonna notice. Like, we're noticing it here because we have to, but in other games, um, like, you're not gonna be taking the time to look at the graffiti. That's just work that goes completely unnoticed. Wasn't there, like, a TV show or something that did... Like, hi hired a graffiti artist, but then it turned out that the graffiti artist was, like, sending messages to ISIS in the graffiti? Or some stupid nonsense like that? If that's true, that's hilarious. And if I just made that up, then I think I'm going crazy. Oh, damn, we're running out of time. And there's only one more after this, it looks like. I have to get all of them. This is for the cat mission that I failed. I have to get this last one. I didn't fail it, I just didn't get all the cats. Alright, come on, we got this. This is ours. Hell yeah. Yeah, see, that would have been, like, literally that would have been impossible without the dash. So hey, dash, you had one good use, and really, 20,000? That's not enough. I'm just gonna do pizza butt from here on out. These jobs are not cutting it anymore. Well, I think I know what time it is now. Pizza time! So here we go, this is it. The final pizza butt. But it's actually the first pizza butt. I'm going back to the original one. Just cause, you know what, I like uh, to bookend things. And here we get to actually see this animation properly. Yeah, that's a cool animation. I Like I said, I still like the Tsubaki Mark II better, but uh, this one is definitely really cool. Are you prepared? This guy is going to be no problemo for me now. Wow. That was almost less than 10 seconds, and I killed other people behind me. Incredible. I always love doing that, going back to um, levels that, you know, you've already beaten and that are from the very beginning of the game when you've got, like, all your upgrades. It just makes you feel like such a champ. It makes everyone else feel like a chump. Wait a minute. Why did that not... How come that didn't get me the amount of money that I needed? Maybe... It doesn't show that little ticker tape thing again. Like, hey, you have enough money because I already got it in the beginning. I don't know. That's what I'm hoping. Hopefully, I don't. I don't have to do anything else. All right, let's just get the hell out of here. Let's please not crash, Travis. 
That's why I don't like using this in the city. I mean, I know I'm literally driving on the wrong side of the road at that point, but there's still a lot of things to crash into, and I don't want to. I don't want to crash. I don't like doing that. Yeah. Okay. Good. I was about to be real pissed. And that's it. We did everything that we have to do now. Yay. Now we just have to go fight the final boss. But first, time to take a dump. I wonder if Sylvia is going to give us the information. We haven't heard from her in a little bit. Why didn't I call this number in the first place? Uh, hello? Hello? May I ask who's calling? This is the Assassin's Association, right? Look, I gotta talk to you about... Oh, dear. She's done it again, hasn't she? Hey, are you listening? Excuse me for asking, but are you by chance an assassin? Whoa! Don't tell the whole world. Then you have been had, sir. You are not her first. What? Run that by me again. Listen to me. Do not get involved, whatever you do. Listen, lady. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Who are you, anyway? Another sorry kid. And for the record, I am Sylvia's mother. Mother? Yes, you heard me. And there's no such thing as an association, or whatever you think exists. You're joking, right? Do you know how many people I've killed? She is a professional con artist. You mean a fraud? Are you telling me this was all just bullshit? She set everything up. Would you mind telling me how far this all went? I'm now second in rank. So, just one more to go. All righty. Why not play along since you've come this far? Are you serious? What's the point? This is all some make-believe charade. But a good man finishes what he started. Fight to the end. Your most formidable opponent awaits in the castle. Now, off to the Garden of Madness. God damn it. We've been bamboozled. She just wanted our money the whole time. You know, it's just like my favorite shirt says. Wait for it. Wait for it. Pimpin' ain't easy, pal. Alright, let's take a dump and then get out of here. I really don't know how this day could get any worse. I guess let's just go kill the final assassin and get ranked number one. What? Really? I just had to open my big mouth, didn't I? So let's see on the map, where is this, uh, this last location? It's pretty much all the way down there, and we're at, like, the complete opposite end of the map. So this is why I got the dash move. This is, like, the only time in the game where this is actually useful. Because that TIE Fighter pilot dude stole, stole our bike. So there's no other option. If you don't have the dash maneuver, this is like hellish. This is absolutely insane. Like, I don't- it'd probably take about five minutes. It's, it's not that bad relatively, but it's still pretty bad. You don't really want to walk around Santa Destroy that long. I mean, look how slow Travis is. Meanwhile, with the dash, you can get there in, like, no time flat. Sure, I'd still rather have the bike, but at least this is, uh, 
a good alternative. Is it over at the train station again? Or the bus station, I guess? No, we're still like nowhere close. Man, when I catch up to that guy, I am gonna give him one hell of a beating. Oh, I see. It's just past the uh, bus station. It's leading us onto the highway. That makes sense, because I remember what what's about to happen. Well, here we go. Hey, here's our bike! Did he crash it? Serves him right. So this part, uh, I was talking before about Bayonetta, this really reminds me of Bayonetta. Only we can't do nearly as much cool stuff that Bayonetta can. Uh, so we want to like avoid that stuff, I'm not doing a very good job of it, but... <clears throat> all these dudes and, and road hazards we really want to avoid. Uh, you know, we are pretty mobile here. We can... Uh, you know, crash into them, they can crash into things, we can still jump. So this, it's not that bad. Again, I'd rather have Bayonetta's skill set here. Although, I always thought it was really stupid that she could still dodge while on the motorcycle and enter into witch time. That was like the dumbest part to me. What seems to be the bad thing about sticking to a wall here, if that's what? They anticipated that, the bastards. Oh, God damn it! That's what you get for just trying to ram into people, I guess, on the highway. And really, who put all these boxes here? I don't know why this is reminding me of that one really awful part in Star Fox Adventures. Like, w when you first meet up with Tricky and you have to, uh, get the, what are they called, Sharp Claws? You have to make them hit into you? That was like the worst part when I was a kid, I could never beat that. Damn it, damn it! You know what, I, there's a lot of things in this game that remind me of Beautiful Joe for some reason. Like, both of these games, right towards the end, they get really weird with, like, Star Wars imagery. Um, so, like, I don't understand why this game has the TIE Fighter pilots. There's, uh, there's gonna be something else that's pretty Star Wars-y in about a little bit. So, you know, it, it's very weird. I think Travis makes some noises sometimes that make him sound like Beautiful Joe. What the hell? Did they do that on purpose? That's not cool. Uh, the best strategy for jumping is to realize that it takes a little bit for the jump to charge up. So don't do it right as you're about to hit the tree because you're probably not gonna do very good. Do it a little bit before. So this part's about to get really dumb. This was always my least favorite part. So there's this laser, you want to really avoid it. As soon as it stops, that's when you want to get out of the way. I always like to bait it to one of the one of the sides. I mean, it's not that bad. It's still manageable. But this part's not that bad. Unless your name is uh, Darkside Phil, that's the only way that this part would be bad. Watch me screw it up the first time. Yeah, I, I think it was like DSP took like a, an hour to beat that part. Like, what an idiot. I already knew he was bad at games, but that part is so easy. <laughs> 